just a little disclaimer, although I do mention this point multiple times in the video, I again do not I do not ever hook up a VR headset um, to Minecraft and I never get into a VR game. This video is simply to show you how to actually get into the game by download by what you need to download, where you need to go and stuff. But as soon as I get to the point where you actually have to open VR, I I do not record that because my VR does not work um, with my microphone at the moment. I'll still get that sorted out. It's a pretty simple fix, but that's basically all I had to say and enjoy the video. Hello YouTube, this is Kentro, and today I will be showing you how to download Minecraft f with VR, all right? So first, first, um, if, you want, if you're playing Minecraft Java Edition, you'll have to download Steam VR, and obviously you'll have to have a VR headset. Unless you're um, you're downloading the non-VR version, but I'll get into that later. Um, so, so first of all, you're gonna want to download Steam VR because I'm assuming with a headset, you're gonna have you're gonna want to play on Steam because Steam was like the leading PC um, video game buyer store and downloader and stuff like that. So you're gonna need to download Steam VR. You probably already have downloaded it, but just just if you don't if you haven't downloaded it, you're gonna want to download it. Right, and you're gonna want to have um, a headset. All right, and then next, what you want to do is go to vivecraft.org. It's a pretty straightforward, simple, um, straightforward, simple thing. Simple website. This is the home screen right next to about. There's the downloads, and there are different current versions, different older versions. Right, um, I have. So this is like the latest Forge supported version, and then this is the latest in general version. Um, I only have the 1.14.4 version and the 1.13.2 version. And all the ones that say yes, this is the Forge server mod, and since these do not have Forge or support Forge, they do not have the Forge server mod. Okay, so I would recommend for downloading purposes right now, um, I would recommend Vivecraft 1.15.2. However, if you want to run um, shader packs, I made a whole video on downloading shaders and stuff because Vivecraft does support Optifine. You're going to want to download the, the latest version which shaders currently support or Optifine currently supports, which is 1.14.4, the version of um, Vivecraft. I already have this downloaded. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to download this. So once I click on that, it takes me to the GitHub, and this is the non-VR version, Installer XE, and then this is the regular VR version. I would I would want to download this one because I'm looking to play it on my headset. If you do not have a headset, you can download this version. It'll just be moving around with your mouse as if you're in the headset, I believe, right? Um, it would just be moving around with your mouse. If you ever played a game in non-VR, which is in non-VR is different to um to like regular 2D because non-VR acts as if you are in VR but basically uses only your monitor and stuff and your mouse to act as a headset. All right, so now we're gonna click the installer. Okay, and it looks finished. Okay, so once we get to this point, um, all you have to do is close your Minecraft launcher if you have it running and Click the install button. It's pretty straightforward. And yes, I have ensured that I have closed the Minecraft launcher. So I do not have a 1.15.2 version of Optifine. So obviously, it's not gonna. It's gonna say Optifine not found. All right, and you have just installed Vivecraft. Now, look straight away. Already, Vivecraft 1.15.2 is already there. So if I wanted to, I could play right now, but I do not have my VR headset hooked up. And my mic doesn't work when I have my VR headset hooked up. So basically, you have to take my word for it. I mean, if you have, do have a VR, it's pretty simple. Um, let, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Let me click play. And then when I click play, it's about to ask me for my Steam VR, my Steam VR stuff, my headset, my base stations, and my controllers. Okay, prior to the time filming this, um, I did not know that it actually doesn't at all, like, open up the Minecraft, um, without, 
without actually attaching your headset on before opening Steam VR automatically. So you have to have your you have to have your headset on in order for it to actually open. So this is where the next point comes in. All right, and obviously, whenever you're loading into a new Minecraft save, it's gonna have to download. It's finalizing, so fresh and so clean. Yes, hopefully. All right, we're loading into Minecraft right now. Perfect. All right, so you see, render setup failed. VR headset not detected because I do not have a VR headset hooked up. If you were to have a VR headset hooked up, it would open Steam VR because Steam VR automatically hooks up when you turn your VR headset on, and then it will link to Steam VR and play your Minecraft. But basically, that's all I have to show um, right now. Please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the beginning of June, so hopefully we can make this dream a reality. My recent Minecraft um, release date video got a lot of um, attention for my channel, at least. Um, it was a very high view increase. This video got a thousand and fifty percent more than my t typical views. So, I mean, f a thousand and five hundred percent more than my typical amount of views. So that's that's pretty good. But um, thank you guys for making that happen, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I'll see you later.